show me. Most of us have seen the movie The Matrix and thought. Wouldn't that be cool if we could learn like that? And many teachers may have thought. Damn. I will be out of a job. But like with the tablet from Star Trek, science fiction often has the ability to redefine what we see as fiction. Currently research is being done using neurostimulation techniques to enhance the training of novice pilots. Although this research is in its infancy, and nowhere near the level of knowledge and skill transfer seen in the matrix, its potential is very mind-blowing. Transcranial direct current stimulation has shown promise in the treatment of people who have suffered a stroke, by stimulating brain regions affected by the stroke to help rebuild lost connections. The theory behind the pilot training study is that by mimicking the brain patterns of expert pilots in novice pilots during training, through TDCS, that learning can be enhanced by building similar connections. And, early results have been promising, with initial tests showing, some increases in learning. This is not as of yet, knowledge transference, but the stimulation of the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, also known as Brodmann Area 46, which is thought to play a large role in sustained attention and working memory. So, it seems that by neurostimulating areas of the brain found active in expert pilots while flying, while training novice pilots we can enhance learning. Again, this is a long way off of true knowledge transference. But neuroscientists are still trying to fully understand how knowledge and skills are stored, accessed, and retrieved in the brain, but the potential is there. As neuroscience continues to develop we will learn more and more about how the brain truly operates, but the question remains as to whether we will ever be able to actually download knowledge or skills.